the x-ray um, nurse came out and um, told me there and then that I had a very um, large tumour in my right um, lung. I can only describe it as being some like a floating cauliflower in my chest. This thing's invaded me. I haven't asked it to, although I've smoked so indirectly I have, haven't I? It's the nightmare scenario. And you wonder when you're going to wake up from the nightmare. If you want to stop smoking, call 0800 169 0169. I was doing a year ago, 12 months ago, to now. It's immeasurable, the change for me. Devastating. Stroke at 37. That's unbelievable, you know? Part of the blood clot tore off and went through, straight through my head. I can't work now. My balance goes, dribbles coming out, and then it starts, it starts slurring your words. You don't want to tell people you're disabled. I can't carry a bag of shopping now. I wanted to ask you a little bit more about what feelings you had inside oh. you when you used to see those anti-smoking ads. <sighs> Just a routine chest X-ray? Just a routine chest X-ray that showed it up. I found out um, there was lung cancer. And you think to yourself, they must be wrong. It's the most um, aggressive form of cancer. You know, it just goes anywhere. You never think it's going to happen to you. There is something because you smoked that is eating you. Make your decision. Just make your decision. If you want to stop smoking, call the NHS Smoking Helpline on 0800 169 0169. Just a routine chest X-ray? Just a routine chest X-ray. I found out um, there was lung cancer. And you think to yourself, they must be wrong. You never think it's going to happen to you. Just make your decision. If you want to stop smoking, call 0800 169 0169. Just a routine chest X-ray? Just a routine chest X-ray. I found out um, there was lung cancer. And you think to yourself, they must be wrong. You never think it's going to happen to you. If you want to stop smoking, call 0800 169 0169. And I walked out with inoperable, uncurable lung cancer. Sometimes you can feel it, because it hurts. I wanted to get it out. I don't want this horrible thing eating at me. Yeah, I think it's trying to kill me. I mean, my initial reaction when I was told was, um, OK, well, what are we going to do then? But what I actually thought was, oh, God, I'm dying. If you want to stop smoking, call 0800 169 0169. When he said shadow, it was a worrying shadow. I thought, that's it. <coughs> that's lung cancer that's caught up with me. I have uh, forfeited my life for smoking. I've lost the chance of grandchildren, probably. A happy retirement. I've had to give up a job I loved. And there's still so much I want to do. If you want to stop smoking, call the NHS Smoking Helpline on 0800 169 0169. I have been smoking since I was 16. They told me that I had a massive MI, a massive coronary. I've had a heart attack at 43, all because of the cigarette. I've been there now and I don't want to go there again. Need help giving up? Call 0800 169 0169. I've had a heart attack at 43, all because of the cigarette. If you want to stop smoking, call 0800 169 0169. Basically, 
he grabbed me and took hold of me. Cancer spreads and it develops fast milongus infested with a tumour. I was told that he was malignant. I have had to have a major operation and they have taken the long away. And this is all due to smoking. <laughs> that white little stick that you put in your mouth. And at 34, you're thinking, oh, I shouldn't be going through this. If you want to stop smoking, call 0800 169 0169. Why has your dad had to have a major operation? Because he had lung cancer. Caused by smoking. That sounds horrible and scary. But what happened to you when your mum told you that? I felt worried because I've always associated cancer with death. I thought my dad was going to die. What are you thinking when you look at that? He changed. He's there, uh, the way he looks. He looks really weird now. He looks happy there. Mm, he's very brave, isn't he? And you're very brave too. What have you... OK, that well, sounds strange, but what have you learnt from all of these things that have been going on? Don't smoke. Make a smoke. I thought my dad was going to die because he had lung cancer caused by smoking. I felt worried because I've always associated cancer with death. He changed. He's there, uh, the way he looks. He looks really weird now. Don't smoke. For help giving up smoking and details of your local NHS Stop Smoking service, call 0800 169 0169. I don't think I've had one day that I've felt okay since the day I've had my heart attack. My arteries have become blocked and then that's restricting blood flow into my heart. It misses a beat and that missed beat is when it pumps without any blood in it. I can actually feel it when, when I put my hand on my chest. The major factor in my heart attack, I think, is smoking. I never used to think about consequences or anything. I think the kids have lost 50% of their dad. If they can get an extra day out of me, they will do. Call the NHS Smoking Helpline on 0800 169 0169. My name's Janice. I'm 51. The reason why I'm so breathless, the reason why I've got the tube, is uh, for oxygen. This is me for the rest of my life now. This is Janice, and this is what she has to say about smoking. <sighs> For help giving up smoking and details of your nearest NHS Stop Smoking service, call 0800 169 
0169. We call it throat cancer. They've come in and removed my voice box. Before we did this, they found out I got lung cancer as well. And the future plans right now are Alexander, my oldest, is coming over here for a holiday in December 13th. I will be alive for that. Call 0800 169 0169. My name is Tony Anthony John Hicks. I've had throat cancer. They've come in and removed my voice box. This was caused by smoking. Don't smoke. Do not smoke. Anthony Hicks also found it difficult to listen when people warned him to stop smoking. Sadly, he died of throat cancer last year. For help giving up smoking and details of your local NHS Stop Smoking service, call 0800 169 0169.